Oh my gosh, y'all. You are not going to believe this. Watch this. Jayco, interior lights. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound. And if you are a returning viewer, we are here in Elkhart, Indiana. This is the RV capital of the world, essentially, where the vast majority of RVs are built, the vast majority of RV suppliers are in this town. And there is this huge event that happens every year that they call RV Open House or RV Expo, which is where we are at. This is actually a close to the public event. It's more for dealerships to come converse with manufacturers and see some new stuff from the manufacturers so that these dealers can place orders on what they want for the year. And we are here taking a look at this Jayco Pinnacle. And if Jayco Pinnacle has not been on your radar, and you are, especially if you are looking for a luxury fifth wheel or looking for a fifth wheel to live in, you certainly should have Pinnacle on your radar. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I have not gone out of my way to try to film Pinnacles in the past because they had what was, in my opinion, a hideous exterior color that looked very old and traditional and not exciting. And now they switched it up for 2024, and now I had to come film it because it looks stunning. It's like a black, kind of dark gray and gold, and also has little touches of light gray in there as well. And definitely got simplified, doesn't look too crazy or over the top. And Pinnacle is Jayco's top of the line fits wheel. So a lot of y'all probably know the Jayco North Point. This is actually the big brother to the Jayco North Point. So while a lot of people already look at North Point as a fifth wheel to live in full time, the Pinnacle is like a step above that and is very impressive. This here is a front bass model. So we're gonna go over here and look at the specs and the floor plan real quick. And it is so dang impressive. So this here, again, front bath, and it's a bath and a half. Unloaded is 14,065 pounds, has almost a 2,700 pound hitch weight, and has a 40 foot, nine inch length. You can see some of the features here as well. And definitely would recommend something like a one ton truck to haul something like this. Get some premium features standard, like slide toppers already installed from the factory. Get a molded fiberglass one piece back cap. This is like what you see on luxury class a motorhomes as well and that's going to have no seams in that back cap so gives you better protection as well a lot of other fifth wheels that even offer something like this you have to order it with some special package um, like the first thing that comes to mind with keystone montana is you have to order a montana with a legacy package and only certain floor plan models will have this rear back cap option with that legacy package get that standard with pinnacle again slide toppers across the top here as well and we'll just knock out the non camp side real quick while we're back here ladder to get up onto the roof prepped to add a backup camera and then you do have a towing package here off the back so this is going to be a 3,000 pound rated hitch that you will be able to tow off of as we go back this way do have brake and reverse lights built into the brake lights i only talk about those reverse lights because that's something that not all fifth wheels have believe it or not you have a 50 amp power cord reel here so an electric reel for your power cord that's nice because those power cords are heavy and that's going to make your life a whole heck of a lot easier um, you have a light right here so you can see setting up your power cord in darker conditions come down underneath here you can see you have a rack and pinion style slide out here on this slide box you're going to have a hydraulic auto leveling system Fully enclosed underbelly, all your water tanks and water lines sit above the enclosed underbelly, above the insulation, and you are going to have 12 volt heat pads on your water tanks as well. Down underneath here, you can see really nice looking tires and wheels, and this has a um, Uniroyal tire, and it's a 215.75R17.5 tire, and this has the Moride LRE 4000 suspension system. This is actually the only product that I see coming with the Moride 4000 suspension system standard. So a very premium heavy duty suspension system. Usually we see the Moride 3000 suspension system and that's the, you know, this is the step up from that. Access to your refrigerator from the back panel here, something that I have not seen in any other fifth wheel, giving you direct access to that. And then for your dump tanks, everything comes to this one spot. So all your black and gray tanks will come to this one area here. You're gonna have access to your pull handles from the tank through that spot there. This is a black tank flush valve, so you can flush out your black tank with pressurized water. And then sometimes it's hard to get these storage doors open with one hand, so I gotta use two and open this up. You have a water filtration system already built in standard. Nautilus water management system down underneath here. That's a motion activated light that's not currently turned on, but you can leave it on at all times and it'll just turn on when you open this door. 
auto leveling controls, outdoor shower. And then down through here, you have your pass-through storage compartment. This water jug here is actually really important and a really cool feature. This goes to your water dispenser in the sink. Now, if you think about it, you have a fresh water tank underneath the underbelly of this RV. Obviously, that's something you are never going to get to, something you're never going to look at. And how likely is it that every drop of water drains out of that fresh water tank when you drain it? Not very likely, right? So how likely is it that there's potentially some sort of, you know, bacteria or whatever it may be in that fresh water tank? Not exactly the most confidence boosting thing to think about when you consider possibly drinking that water. So Jayco gives you this water jug here. That way you can replace this or you can just fill this out. You can clean it yourself and you can know you have a actual fresh water supply for your drinking water inside the fifth wheel. This is also a climate controlled area. You can see it's absolutely massive. You could fit a twin size bed in here and sleep in here easily if you wanted to, because it is climate controlled. And you can see the Astro foil insulation here, something I have yet to see in any other fifth wheels outside of Jayco, where they do that extra layer of Astro foil insulation through here. Inverter there, that's ducting for your heat coming into this cavity. And this is like a toy hauler garage style flooring here. So very rugged and solid. Now, another thing that's very impressive from Jayco on their pinnacles and north points is you have a 120 gallon propane capacity. So you have three 40 pound propane bottles. Standard on every other fifth wheel out there that I've seen is two 30 pound propane bottles. This is three 40 pound propane bottles. So very impressive. Schwintex style slide mechanism there. <laughs> Stuttering on my S's, my goodness. Schwinn Tech style slide mechanism there. Also painted black underneath here. I really like the look of that. You can see you have your light switches here for the front cap, very easy to access. And they do have little rubber protection sleeves on them. And you can see you have a LED light bar there with a diffuser on it. So it has more of a glowing effect. And then LED lights here as well. This is a Moride pin box. So a really good quality pin box up front. And as we come up this way, it is prepped to add side cameras. So you can get side cameras on this fifth wheel as well. Down underneath here, already prepped to add a generator into this space if you want a generator. So something you don't have to custom order to get. Storage space up above there, nicely kind of separated out in that space. And look at the base on these auto leveling jacks as well. It is a huge base that you get there. So that is good for extra stability. Also got to point out some other things like your skirting on the side. You have a drop frame construction here. So there's a beam there that drops down for the frame, giving you a bigger storage compartment. And a lot of RV manufacturers in a similar price range will just leave that kind of frame exposed and you can see it on the pinnacle and on the north point for that matter. Um, you can see it on the north point over there too, towards the front. They actually extend this skirt down, match the paint on it and can seal that nicely so it gives it a much more clean finished look. You can see your third 40 pound propane bottle right there. JBL speakers here and then you have a tanked water heater there so gas and electric water heater. Again storage space back through here you have your central vac hookups there motion activated light and you are going to have controls for your audio system outside through that space here and you're going to have quick access to water and heat lines or heat ducting through there as well. This here is going to be a pullout um, kind of tabletop that this griddle will sit on. And so that is something where I'll show you where that goes. And I should note as well, you have TV connections here. So if you wanted to mount a TV to this wall that would swivel out, can do that. Slam latch doors, magnet latches to hold those doors up. Look at how nice the you know space here around the window looks. The window does not fill that whole space, but they match that black to the color of the window so nicely. It looks great. Should also mention you have square windows here, so they are you know, squared off on the finish. Seeing that on a lot of brands now and just looks absolutely stunning. You have this, gosh, I filmed so many RVs today. I feel like my mouth just does not want to talk normal anymore. Um, this is where that tabletop will go. So you can connect that there and there should be, yep, propane code connect line. And you do have a spot for your sewer. Wow, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, y'all. For your sewer hose storage. Spare tire underneath there. And that's pretty much everything. Should note here too, you have um, tow vehicle controlled front, rear, and side LED safety lights all throughout this motorhome. Another spot for a TV if you want to hook up a TV off this backside of the fifth wheel. I just realized as well, I totally forgot to show there is an outdoor TV that's already installed and that's gonna be underneath your awning here. 
So I had to make sure to come back and let you know there is an outdoor TV here that I completely missed. And that's pretty much everything. Another little feature I like to point out on some of these Jayco products is they use white arms here for your awning with a black awning tarp material. And boy, does that look good. Most other brands are using a black arm right here. And the white just really matches the aesthetic of this pinnacle really, really nicely. So as we go inside, please let me know what you think about this fifth wheel RV. I'm very curious your thoughts. So be ready to let me know. Make sure to hit like on this video as well. And I got to show you, you're also prepped to add a security camera over your entry door. Absolutely massive window with your entry door as well. You have the new Moride safety rail right here and you have a solid step. There's a little blue light back behind there so you can see your step in darker conditions. And as we open this up, check this out, y'all. As soon as I walk in here. Real quick, before we step inside of this RV, there's something that I'm really excited to talk to y'all about. And I actually wanna ask you for a favor. So if you've been here for a while, you know that I pretty much never ask y'all of anything, but I'm going to right now because I started my second YouTube channel, which is called Firmly Unbound. Firmly Unbound is the name of my company and Firmly Unbound is an expression of exploration and freedom in work, play, and faith. And I'm really excited about what's to come on this YouTube channel. There's a link down below in the description of this video and in the comments as well where you can subscribe to Firmly Unbound. And I pretty much spent the whole last month traveling dang near coast to coast across the United States to show you what it means to live Firmly Unbound. So some exciting video content is coming. Can't wait to see y'all there. Jayco, interior lights. How stinking cool is that? You have J Voice on here, which is going to be a voice controlled system already built in to turn on and off different functions inside this fifth wheel RV. I am just blown away at that. Nobody else is doing that. I haven't seen anybody else doing that and I can't imagine anybody else is doing that yet. So wow, is that cool. Let me know what you think about that feature. So this is your floor plan space here in this particular model. Um, I did film another Jayco as well that is a rear kitchen model with a sectional sofa, unlike anything we've seen before. So make sure to check out the video of that pinnacle as well. That one should already be uploaded onto YouTube. Um, right away, a couple things I noticed. There's a little bit of a glossy finish to your woodwork in here. So your solid wood door there, all your cabinets, your slide out fascias. And whatnot it's not like a high high gloss finish but it is definitely glossy so that stands out right away and you can tell it just feels different than everything else because nothing else in the fifth wheel space that i've seen has that high gloss finish now as we go around this living space you have your slide out flooring that matches the rest of the flooring in here so it's virtually seamless and you can't see it when you get close to it but it looks really nice you're going to have a dining table here and it's nicely built out with storage on both sides of this area. So you do have storage through there. This is all solid hardwood on there and storage space through here. With this table, it will have a leaf that extends out so you can extend that table. And it looks like that's really the only feature with the table that I'm seeing and storage space underneath the chair. Should have two additional chairs that are likely underneath the bed. We'll see that when we get to the bedroom. Light fixtures have LED lights up in the fixture. So that looks really nice. See your light fixture here over the island and this is a barreled ceiling so that also gives us a very tall feel in here with the ceiling having that kind of radius curve to it the key coming this way your windows they really made these as wide as they could so that is a really really nice amount of window space on your campsite love that pull down day and night shades on your windows so you have a day shade and you have a night shade and it is a wood framed window so it has a little bit more of a residential look versus like the bulky valances, like when they take this style valance and do it all the way down the window, giving you more of like a wood frame here on the window. These windows are going to pop open so you can take these off and it'll just pop open nice with the rain where it's not going to let too much moisture in if it does start raining or something like that. And then these seats here are very interesting. First of all, they are incredibly comfortable. I love that this is also a love seat but can be two recliners as well when you flip down the armrest and it is a very very soft feeling material it's a cloth material and it's almost like a suede you can see how when you rub on it it's going to leave that texture there and this is something where 
furniture like this to me is dangerous because I'm sure I have some form of ADD or something, but you put me in furniture like this and I'll be more amused with drawing on the armrest than I will with watching TV or whatever else is going on. So, but I love it because it is very comfortable. So if I sit in here, oh my goodness. I've been walking around filming all day and this is the best I've felt all day sitting down in here. Very comfortable furniture. It's from the Stacy Stewart collection, which is a Lippert line. And I like the idea of cloth and y'all let me know what you think about a cloth material. I like this because with a pleather or leather style material, it is going to be very susceptible to, you know, getting hot or feeling cool. This is going to be much more consistent in temperature and it's definitely not going to make you hot sitting in there like it can with a leather like material. So I really like it for those reasons. Obviously people have to consider, you know, the, um, effect of like dirt and stuff like that too. But I think it's a good color where it wouldn't show that well over time. So I think it would look good for a long period of time. But again, y'all let me know your thoughts on what you think about that. You have heat and massage and lights underneath. Ooh, that looks nice too. I got to leave these lights on for when I make my short form videos for TikTok and Instagram and stuff. So that looks really nice. And then you have a three cushion sofa here. This will pull out to make into a bed. And again, three cushion sofa going to allow there's a ghost trying to close me in here. I don't know if y'all could hear that screeching, but it was very loud. Uh, three cushion sofa going to allow you to lay down there and give you a, more seating space, big windows along the back, a little bit of residential looking lighting, and then huge storage spaces up here with lots of lighting in here. Oh, wow, they do a two tiered shelf system. That's not very common. So that is nice as well. Interesting, I like that. Um, on the sides of your sofa, you have really cool flip up storage access outlets on both sides, USB ports on both sides. Let me just double check. Sorry. Outlets on both sides and only USB ports on this side. You also have all these controls throughout the fifth wheel for your lights. So lots of different places where you can control the lights, not to mention you also can just use your voice now. So very cool. You're gonna have a JBL soundbar in here, not something too common in fifth wheel. So I like that you're getting that soundbar. You have a more traditional looking electric fireplace going to be a, a electric heat source for you there. So that's what it looks like when that fireplace is on. And then you have a TV that lifts up, up out of this area. That looks like it's gonna be a 50 inch screen TV. Look at how fast that's lifting up. Wow, I'm impressed with that. I thought it was gonna take twice as long. I was a little worried when I started doing that that I was gonna get stuck there for a minute. But 50 inch screen TV, that gives you your windows when you want it, TV when you want it. And then you have lights up in here. I didn't get these lights on for some reason, but those would help really just show off the cabinetry. Storage space through there. You have a residential size GE oven and it has a four burner stove. It's absolutely huge. Open this up. You can see you have adjustable racks in there and man is it a big oven big storage space to the left of it again solid wood cabinetry solid surface countertop real tile backsplash there's the light switch finally i don't know where the oh there it is okay boom we got all the lights on now there we go they hide them up underneath the cabinets so have that and then you're going to have a GE refrigerator. That's gonna be a basically an air fryer combo on that. Storage space on both sides of the microwave. Pull out spice rack up above your microwave. And I like how everything's just symmetrical in this space. Gonna give you countertop space on both sides of the oven and you don't have stuff splattering on any walls or anything like that, so I appreciate that. You have this absolutely massive flip up table side space here and let's see how this okay oh and that locks into place nice and easy that's not a complicated system to figure out at all sometimes these systems are a little complicated that was easy so kind of a wood block here that you have for additional countertop space and then your island has gray cabinetry and it's still that high gloss finish led light underneath there as well but it contrasts well with the white See in this space, you also have a dishwasher installed. So if you want a fifth wheel with a dishwasher, you do get a dishwasher already installed on your pinnacles. Love when they do this farm style sink in this charcoal stainless steel finish. It looks so good, so much better than just a standard stainless steel. Black faucet and your water dispenser coming from that water jug in the pass-through storage compartment. 
outlet there, spot for a trash can, sink covers underneath that space, and storage on this side here. Have an outlet there, and then you're going to have a residential GE refrigerator with water and ice coming out of the door. They have it strapped shut, so I'm not going to open it, but you can see that is a GE residential refrigerator. You're going to have your pantry right here. Motion activated light when you open up that door. And nice pantry space. Storage up above here. Good thing I washed my hands before I came into this fifth bowl because this white definitely would make me nervous having dirty hands. Open this up and you're going to have your half bath through here. Nicely angled off so it doesn't take up much floor space to get to that half bath and still gives you a good amount of floor space. Porcelain foot flush toilet. This looks like it's going to have a soft closed toilet seat. It sure does. And that's the antifreeze fluid that was just in that toilet there. You have a stainless steel sink. You have stainless steel faucet. Gray cabinets here in the bathroom. Open storage down through there. That's actually quite a bit of storage space. It goes pretty far back. You have a medicine cabinet in here. Storage up above the medicine cabinet. And that's nicely shelled out. That's a magnet latch holding that in place. Spot for your towel there and more storage here in the corner. Has a vent fan up in the ceiling up there and it's ducted with a C into that space. You get this clock that it will come with. So that's just a decorative piece that they give you. And that is your living arrangement here in this Jayco Pinnacle. Really curious what you think so far. Make sure to let me know down below in the comments and then we're gonna head up into the bedroom. You have pretty interesting, oh, Jayco thought that I said something. Jayco bedroom lights, boom. Look at that working. Um, interesting design here. This is going to allow you access up into the bathroom there because your steps going into this bedroom and bathroom are on your door side and they're not like pushed over to this wall. So get access up into the space. You do have spot for shoes down underneath here and a central vac system with a floor sweep so you can kick up that little spot there and that is going to be something that sucks all your dust, dirt and debris into your step, into your central vac so you can get rid of your dust pan. Motion activated light right there, so that will trigger on as we approach the step. Grab handle, coat closet, and in here, touchscreen control panel. This will link to your phone, so you can control everything on this RV from your phone or this touchscreen control panel. Plus, there's the light panels all throughout this fifth wheel. So we walk up in here, first thing I notice, LED lighting is on point. It just looks beautiful. Floor space in here is great. King size bed in the bedroom has bedside tables for each individual, outlets and USB ports, and those are just standard USB connections there. Has a WineGuard Wi-Fi router already installed. So love that you already have that from the factory. That's a pretty expensive accessory add-on that you're getting standard. You have windows here all the way around, a nice looking, looks like wood headboard up front here. Comes with all the pillows and bedding that you're seeing here. Outlets down underneath here as well. and flip up this bed, strut assisted, looks like extra chairs down here, central vac hose, and some additional things like a water filter, water uh, hoses and stuff like that. Really impressed with just the amount of floor space walking through here, does not feel restricted at all. And then you're gonna have four drawers that pull out there, hidden storage underneath here, and does it flip open? Oh yeah, it does, okay, cool. So flips open like that, and that is gonna be concealed very well. So if you just get rid of that sticker, virtually nobody's gonna know that that storage is there. So great hiding spot. Outlets here, USB ports there, and four pull-out drawers that are pretty deep. Framed out spot for your TV, storage on both sides of the TV, and nice big window with pull-down nightshade, just a nightshade. You can see here again, you have light panels so you can control lights and you have a security camera switch as well for that security camera that would go over your entry door. Sliding farm style door to the bathroom and when we step into this bathroom, have two massive bowl sinks, LED lighting everywhere, LED lights behind your mirror, LED lights underneath your cabinetry, huge floor space in here. I mean, just absolutely massive. Step in here, your shower, Ooh, that shower, that is huge. It's almost square, still a little bit rectangular, but dang close to square, which is gonna give you a ton of width in here. I have to step inside the shower. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, two grown adults can fit in this shower. It'd be a little tight with two grown adults, but that's the size that is in this shower. It is very impressive. You have four shower heads. So one here, you have your wand there, and you have two additional shower heads there. I do have to say these shower heads sit relatively low because my head is above that shower head, so I'd have to use the wand. The barreled ceiling means this ceiling height drops down and it hits to 6'2", where my head is about right here. Up into this space, it's clear, but then into the skylight, you could be about probably 6'5", or so, 6'4", 6'5", and fit in that space. But width in there is absolutely fantastic. You have a flip down bench, and then back through here, you have a ton of wardrobe storage, and I love this closet. Wait till you see the closet. Not this here, but the other one. This is where washer dryer would go if you want to do a stackable washer and dryer. And then check this out. Check this out. This closet, motion activated lights. So when I stick my arm in here, there we go. Really well thought out. They did not skimp out on this closet space. You have all this shelving built in, clothing rods everywhere. Plus they're spaced out well enough that you're not gonna have to worry about sagging in these cause it's not like some incredibly long clothing rod. And then you have four of them. So you can hang shirts at multiple levels or pants or whatever you hang. And then you have storage space back through here plus I haven't even opened this yet, and that's a laundry spot right there. So very, very impressive closet. I love the way that looks and it feels like it was well thought out and wasn't just, you know, something that they slapped together. Um, this is going to be a porcelain foot flush toilet, and this has, let's see, no soft closed toilet lid on that. And then that's pretty much it. Storage underneath your sink is going to be shelved out. So you have some shelves there. And again, your massive bowls for your sinks there. And that is just about everything in this bathroom space. Got to point out the vent fan too, a larger vent fan, hooks here for towels. And as we walk back down to the living room space, very curious what you think about this fifth wheel. Please let me know down below in the comments what you think. And if I miss something, let me know as well. I do have to show you on your entry door, you do have a privacy curtain that comes down to cover this window. So that is nice too, because that is a large window and you're gonna want your privacy. And this thing here, man, ooh, it is just a beautiful looking fifth wheel. Really, really curious your thoughts. So let me know down below in the comments. If you haven't already, please go subscribe to the Firmly Unbound YouTube channel. There's a link down below in the description of this video and also in the comments. If you missed the part in the video, that's my other, or that's my brand. It's my other YouTube channel where there will be other content coming that I'm really excited about that you're gonna love. So make sure to go subscribe to that channel. And that's all I got for y'all. Let me know what you think about this Jayco Pinnacle. And until next time, live firmly unbound.